today's video I'm going to be installing glass into the rear barn doors of my T6 because I'm obviously converting to a camper van and it will help let in more light as well. First of all I'm going to give it a really good clean. I like to get everything ready so I know where everything is and I haven't got to search around for things so this is my selection of the tools I'll be using today. When I first built my van I wasn't sure if I was going to put in a window so I put up curtains just in case to match my other curtains but now I've got to take them off, install the windows and then put them back on. As you can see I've got to remove all the old sound insulation and the sound editing as well. This is my cut line, I will be transferring that to the outside as well as you can see in the video. There are several methods you can use to drill the holes out and mark the lines. You can either use just a small drill and go around the edge of the unit or I prefer to use a hole cutter which I will show you in a minute. I always hoover as I go, just pick up any filings and any loose material. I prefer to use tape because it gives you a nice straight line and it also protects the outside paintwork as well. It's also best to cover up any paintwork you're going to be drilling over. I should have really covered everything up before I started this job with it.
After everything's been cut, it's best to give the edges a file and then I always touch up all the bare metal with something like hammerite, right? something that's going to give it a good protection from rust. dried then um, install the edging this is just a case of just tapping it on um, making sure it fits nice and snug As you can see, it ends up with a nice, neat, professional job at the end.
next job is to make sure everything is spotlessly clean. Get any grease off, get any marks, iron filings, just make sure everything's nice and clean first of all. Another good tip is to uh, check all your glass first before you cut out the windows just in case your delivery has any broken panes. I didn't do that but I just guess I was lucky this time. Now's the time to apply the primer. It's best to do it in one even streak if you can. It just stops any bubbles and lumps and bumps around it, so it just makes a smoother job. Once it's offered up and it, you can see everything's ready to be installed, then I just um, fix up a couple of bits of tape just on the bodywork to hold the um, glass in place just to stop it from sliding down. Next I offer up the glass, then I get a pencil and then draw a line on the inside all the way around. That will show me where to put my um, glass primer on the inside of the glass this time. After cleaning it again, I get a bit of the old edging strip and then I use it as a template to give me about a half inch to the outside of the glass. So that's where I'll be placing my primer to match the primer on the van itself. Next, I apply the adhesive. Um, it's best if it's in a warm day or if you could put a tube in some hot water. 
water or some warm water that makes it a little bit easier to apply. On this day it was cold and it was so difficult to squeeze the adhesive out of the tube. It took a bit of time. Once the glass is offered up, give it a good old firm on each corner, making sure it's all in a nice line and the gaps are even. Once you're happy with the position of the glass, then you can put your tape down just to stop it from sliding down. But still, keep an eye on your gaps, make sure everything's even as well. same method on the other window, again keep everything clean. Once the second section of glass is on, just check all your gaps, make sure everything's nice and secure and evenly pressed round. As you can see on my van, because it's black and the windows are black, it doesn't look any different from when I first started. Next job for me is to reinstate the curtains I removed in the first place. That's just the same process of just screwing it back in the same holes. Until the glue's dried, remove all the tape and give it a good old clean. And that's it, all done. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.